Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript Advanced Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will understand how to specify styling to the HTML element using JavaScript. So, JavaScript has a special property to specify styling to the HTML element, just like CSS. Style property allows you to specify different styling to the HTML element. In the previous lecture, we had learned how to access element using query selector and query selector all method. Now in this tutorial, we will take a look at style property of the document object. So let's get started. As you know, style property allow you to style your element. Therefore, we will directly jump to the example to understand how this property work. So in dome.html file, I will just create a simple submit button here. So I will just say input type submit and specify class submit then in main.js file i will just select this submit button using query selector so i will just say let sub is equal to document dot query selector and in the parenthesis i will specify double quote and say dot submit so i will just select the submit button using class name now let's see how to style your submit button using JavaScript. Now, when you specify a new property to the element, then you need to careful about one thing. Whenever you specify property, you need to specify exact property name because style properties are case sensitive. For example, so if I just say here sub dot style dot background color and we'll specify background color. So I will just say equal to, and in the double quote, I will say black. So when you execute this, this property will apply to the element, right? So whenever you specify any styling property, you need to keep in mind that every property start with the small letter. And when you combine two words like background and color, then the second word should be start with the capital letter, right? So if you specify a small letter here, then this will not specify background color to the submit button, right? So the JavaScript will not recognize this property and therefore you will get your default background color to the element. Now let's take a look at few styling properties of JavaScript. So we'll just change the color of the button. So I will say sub dot style dot color is equal to white then i will just change font size so i will say sub dot style dot font size is equal to and in the double quote i will say 3 em and the last i wanted to specify padding also so i will say sub dot style dot padding is equal to 1.5 em in JavaScript, we have more than 50 properties to change element styling. But now we have another method to styling your HTML element using CSS. So to do that, we need to create a class in CSS. So I will first remove the class name from the submit button. Right. And in the head, I will create a CSS class. So I will just create a style tag here. And in the style tag, I will declare a class submit. So I will just say dot submit and in the curly braces, I will specify few CSS properties. So I will just say padding 1em and 4em. Then I will specify font size 1em. Background color black. And the color property white smoke right now in main.js file i will just get rid of these statements and here i will just say let sub is equal to document dot query selector i will just call query selector method and in this query selector i will select submit button using input type so as you know query selector is a css selector to select your element so i will just say input 
and in the square bracket I will say type is equal to submit so here we are using input to select submit button right after that we wanted to add CSS class using JavaScript so to add this class we have class list property using class list property we will access add method so the add method will apply CSS style to the element like this so I will just call sub dot class list property dot add method and in the parenthesis I will specify my CSS class name so I will just say submit here so when you execute this your submit button would be changed using this method you can add any CSS class to the element this method is really helpful when you are working with event to add class to the specific element on event fire right that's it I hope you understand this lecture I have asked a question in the comment answering that question will help you to understand this topic more easily that is all for now we will see you in the next tutorial